Justin's got the wheelbarrow behind you, Jim. Jordan, Jordan, go right. make sure that's open so we can bring the calf around up front. And Jessica, find a five gallon bucket and get some warm, full of warm water. You got home just in time. Yeah, just in time to take video. <laughs> Was she bred with sex semen? Yep. What was the bull? There she goes. Aren't you two supposed to be catching mice? Hey everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Don't forget to like and share the video, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so. You can check out our merch store and you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Today is April 11th, 2024. Um, we've had a pretty eventful morning this morning. We had a calf just born in there, so we'll have some video of that. Um, I just got back from the bus route actually and they were down pulling the calf, so I was able to get down and get a little video of that. Justin is heading out with the little farm all there to go get the feeder wagon. I'm gonna put some silage in there, bring it out, and then we can let the cows out for the day. So uh, we'll try to get a little bit of video of that. It looks like it's gonna be just a beautiful day. It was beautiful out yesterday. We got a little shot of rain yesterday afternoon. Um, a few days ago, we got some rain. I think we got, I don't have the gauge out, but from kind of what I've been hearing, maybe half an inch, a little more. Um, that was much needed, starting to really green up, so hopefully that rain will kind of keep coming like that throughout the year. I think next week there's two or three days of rain they're talking. It's supposed to be like 68 today, so that'll be good. And it's supposed to be up in the 60s, I think when that rain hits next week, upper 50s. Um, so part of, the, part of the plan for the rest of the day is to go and do some more disking. Try to get the ground worked up where I want to put oats in. So I think we're going to try to hit that today. I think the frost is probably out with this warmer weather after that rain. So we'll see how that goes. But we'll get the cows fed first. <laughs>
all right we're out here at the 12 now um i'll show you what i got going on here so the batteries it's got the two six volt and long skinny batteries um and they they're they were bad they, this spring they started getting weak and now they wouldn't even hold a charge so i was going to get a couple new ones and put in there but uh we all know they aren't getting any cheaper and that's not that i won't probably put them back in there i don't know we'll see but i had a heavy duty just a regular 12 volt battery laying around um so i thought well i'm going to see if i can put it in here and it actually worked out pretty good so i'll kind of show you what i did um i know the single 12 volt battery versus the two six volt batteries that these have they're going to have a lot less amperage but this tractor starts so well um and it, i really don't even run it usually in the winter time anyway so uh i'm not really worried about that it uh, i think this battery will crank it over just fine but i'll show you kind of how i got it to fit in there so this is a 31 series battery um i can't remember 31 950 or something like that but um so this is where the other one was i did put a piece of half inch plywood in the battery compartment i could have maybe went a little bit thicker because the battery compartment has a lip on it so i kind of wanted it to be level and i had plenty of room between the fuel tank and everything yet from the positive i just ran a ground wire from here and just mounted it down um, down inside there i took it off the other side so the other battery's still in there it's just not connected to anything um, i got my wires hooked all in here for my chopper control and lights and stuff <clears throat> so the only thing i really had an issue with was this flip down piece um, so it's got the cab on it here and it's got this flip down cover and it wanted to sit up like this on the battery so I think it's originally supposed to have it's got a bolt here and I think there's supposed to be another one here this one has broke off many years ago um, so it's only ever had the one bolt in it but so what I had to do is it's got a groove in it so it can slide back and forth but I had to pull it back this way just a little bit. So I just drilled a little bit extra of a hole there um, so it could slide back so this could set all the way down. So now we can set it where we want and we'll get that tightened up. any better than that fired right up that battery um, the hold down for the battery from the old skinny ones isn't going to work so i'm just going to get a rubber snubber i forgot to grab one when i was back at the garage but i think i can get a rubber snubber right over the top of it anyway and the actual one that's supposed to be in there the long rod pieces were gone it was kind of mickey mouse in there anyhow so it didn't really hold the other ones very well but so I can get a rubber snubber over there just so it can't jump around but I don't think it's really gonna go anywhere anyway because that little door's kind of got it flipped, held into place but um, we'll let this warm up a little bit and then we'll go put some fuel in it and go do some disking Somebody was asking last time I was out here disking if I saw any worms. I think it was kind of too cold then, but there was a piece of twine there I went and pulled up and there was a worm that 
that was there so there's worms out here um, there's no frost that's gone it's disking up really nice a lot of moisture in it um, so that's that's great you can see it's I mean over here is where it was froze hard last time and it's cutting it's disking right down cutting up nice dirt's looking real good look at the worms go fishing worm worm there's another one they're all over the place in here so that's good but anyway uh we'll keep plugging away here and try to get this one worked up
got that piece done. I came out last night after chores. Uh, went till about 10 o'clock last night. And I had everything done except just these ends. I wanted to be able to see a little bit better where I had missed on the ends. So we got that finished up now. Um, we got another couple fields that I got to get tilled up for oats yet. But I got a few other things to get done today. So I probably won't start on those today. Um, I got to get oil changed on this tractor now that it's warmed up and the hauling some manure and stuff yet. So we'll probably wrap up this video. So hope you enjoy it and we'll see you in the next one. Delta keeps dropping all our hay on Trixie. You're gonna be buried!